Hello and welcome everybody to the show. My name's Kyle Cinco and you're watching Successful Archi soon. In today's episode, we're going to be learning how to scale any architectural drawing, whether it be a plan or a section or any drawing really. If you guys do end up finding this video helpful once you finish watching it, please leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're going to be learning how to scale any architecture drawing and it doesn't matter if it's got a scale bar or not. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. First things first, this drawing has a scale bar which we can refer back to. It doesn't actually have a scale bar but it's got this dimension line which tells us how long something is. This is just a quick drawing I did in Revit. But let's say we wanted to put this on the sheet. This is an A3 sheet and let's say we wanted it at a 1 to 100 scale just to make it easy. First things first, we can get the uh, masking tool. I just hit M there to get the marquee tool actually. Sorry, not masking tool. And you can just measure this line and see where we're at. So in this drawing, this is currently scaled to have this line, which is actually meant to be 24.5 meters, we'll say that. And it's actually showing up as 173 uh, millimeters. So if this was 1 to 100, we'd be aiming for this line, this box here, to be actually 25, uh, 250 millimeters. Because really all you're doing is you're going 25,000, because there's 25,000 millimeters, and you're dividing that by 100 to get the scale of 1 to 100. And that would leave us with 250 mils. So instead, what we can do is, um, rather than having to line this up and then trying to scale the drawing to m match that marquee tool, we can actually just draw a box. And what we can do is we can just draw out a line and it tells us the width. It says 250 mils. So we'll go about 249.9. And now we know that's our, that's our reference. All we have to do is match this line to be the same distance as that. And so we can go ahead and just drag this out, holding the Alt key, and we're gonna scale it a bit less there. And we just line that up. And now we know that this line here is about 25 meters. Um, it's actually a little bit smaller, but we're not going to be too fussy about it in this video. So we know that this drawing is now 1 to 100. And then obviously if you wanted this to be, say, 1 to 50 or 1 to 200, you would just have to divide it by 50, divide it by 200. Um, so you'd go 25,000 divided by 200, you'd get something like 1,250. And you just match this box to be 125 mils then. But then what happens if you don't have a scale bar or you don't have any dimensions on the drawing? What do you do then? Well, what we can do is we can do a rough estimate. Unless you've actually got your Revit drawing up, then you can um, measure stuff in the drawing and you can then work out, say that, um, if we go to the annotate and we go to aligned, we can then work out, say, from this distance, it's about 1,063 millimeters and so then you'd go into Photoshop and you'd make this box here this box here 106.3 millimeters on the page if you're doing 1 to 100 but then let's say to make it even harder that you don't have a Revit file and you don't have a digital model to refer to how can you get the scale of this drawing to be 1 to 100 well that's where we have to do rough estimates so for example's sake we're going to get rid of that drawing that we just scaled and now we've got this drawing here with no scale bars on it whatsoever. What we can do is we can estimate that these stairs, according to you know Australian standards, that the stairs are going to have a going, so they're going to be in length no more than 300 mils, more like 250 mils. And what we'd also know, just from general knowledge I guess, is that a bench size is not going to be you know, any more than 600 meters wide because it's just too far to lean over unless you've got like a big island bench or something. But these benches here look like just something that you've got a single single side on which you just work on, like a cooking station or something. So what we can do is if we if we say that this bench here is 600 meters, uh, 600 mils in width, then that's our reference guide. We can just create a box that's, you know, six, about six mils. I can't really snap to that, so I'd have, I'd have to zoom in if I did that, but let's just say that box there is six mils. Then all you'd have to do is just scale up this drawing so that that bench is matching that box you've just made, that reference box. And so then once that drawing is scaled, all you have to do is just delete your box that you've created and you know that this drawing now on this A3 piece of paper is at 1 to 100 scale. So there you go guys, that's how you scale any architectural drawing in Photoshop, no matter if you've got a scale bar or no scale bar or any dimensions or no dimensions. If you did find that quick video helpful, please do leave a like on the video. It helps share the video to get it out to more people on YouTube and help other people find this video. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you guys so much. If you want to check out another video, they are to the side here. If you want to subscribe, there's a button down there. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.